16 minutes past eight. Chances are you've noticed a lot more mozzies around this year. And part of the reason, believe it or not, is that people aren't installing rainwater tanks correctly. And joining us now is Queensland Rain Harvesting Director Gareth Horton. Morning to you, Gareth. Good morning, Lisa. How are you? Very well, thank you. Well, just when we thought we were all doing the right thing, it turns out maybe we're not doing it the right way. Mm. I think that's the key message, Lisa. I think we're all doing a wonderful job of conserving water. And I think if people understand that there are a few simple steps we need to take to install a rainwater tank correctly, then uh, we can certainly do, it, do, do lots of good by protecting ourselves from mosquitoes. All right. Where are people going wrong and what should they be doing? Carl, I think it starts from people looking at their gutters. And I think people need to make sure they're, they're constantly looking at their gutters and cleaning out their gutters. Ideally, they'd have some sort of gutter guard installed. Um, in terms of the rainwater tank, it's about looking at the rainwater tank as a complete system. So it's not just the tank, it's making sure that all your pipes are installed correctly, are sealed correctly. It's making sure you've got a rain head on every downpipe. Uh, a, a rain head protects your pipe system from being in, infiltrated by mosquitoes. It's making sure you've got a first flush water diverter on every downpipe. And also just checking your rainwater tanking, making sure that all the exits and entry points for the water are sealed. Um, and just maintaining it, I think that's the, that's the, the key message for, for, for viewers. So there is a way of avoiding the, the mosquitoes. They're not an inevitability of having a rainwater tank. Certainly not, Lisa. I think that's one of the, the clear messages that uh, we need to get across is that rainwater tanks offer a fantastic way for, for mum and dads around the country to, to save water. And with a few simple steps, we can you can easily protect yourselves from the, the threat of mosquitoes. I guess it's a bit of a luxury having still water around our houses for the first time in a while, but also a reminder for people to clean up some of that water, especially at the base of pot plants and around, um, around the other parts of the house. Carl, exactly. I think the biggest threat comes from people who are storing water around the house in a variety of unsealed containers. So whether it's buckets or baby swimming pools or baby baths or um, I think the sentiment's fantastic. I think people are trying to save water, but it's just thinking about what you're doing and making sure that you don't leave water out there for too long. And if people are bitten, what sort of mosquitoes are around at the moment? Um, most of the mosquitoes that are around in Brisbane are, are the, the freshwater variety of mosquitoes, um, and they have a reasonably long uh, sort of lifespan. So uh, the mosquitoes that are around invariably probably won't be disease carrying mosquitoes but there is that risk. All right so, so what are you on the lookout for? I guess that you have to keep your eye out for these sort of things. I think uh, you need to look around the house. I think you need to make sure that you don't have still water laying around. I think you need to make sure that you just uh, clean your gutters out. I mean that the gutters are one of the key breeding areas for mosquitoes around the house. All right thank you very much for that and, uh, and best of luck Gareth. We appreciate your time today and a good reminder to everyone at home to clean up. Thanks, Carl. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks, Carl. Cheers, mate. Good to get rid of those leaves in the gutters anyway because of uh, the bushfire season, which is yeah. uh, very much upon us. Up next, your latest news.